Today I will talk about the histology of nephron. So we are here. The kidneys, urethra and the urinary bladder. If we zoom into the kidney and cut a section of it, we will see a structure like this. Some pyramidal structures which has medulla inside and cortex outside. The nephrons are present like this. Now if you zoom into each nephron, I'll talk about a brief physiology of nephron to understand the histology better. So this is the head of the nephron. The afferent arteriole coming in which is broader than the efferent arteriole which is a narrow the blood flows through it and gets filtered in the head of the nephron this whole region is called renal corpuscles this region is the Bowman's capsule and the blood vessel region is the glomerulus after the head of the nephron this is the Proximal convoluted tubule. Next, the U shaped structure is the Henley's loop. This is the descending hen. This is the descending limb of Henley's loop, and this is the ascending limb of Henley's loop, which has two structures thin and thick. This is the thin and this is the thick structure of ascending Henry's loop. The thick ascending loop will get will be connected to the distal convoluted tubule and the distal convoluted tubule will connect to the collecting duct which is also connected to the other nephrons. Now the efferent arteriole gives rise to fine blood capillaries which will surround the whole nephron for reabsorption and secretion of substances between the blood and the nephron. This is called the peritubular structure. Now after the filtration of blood, the filtrate will come into the proximal convoluted tubule where some substances will reabsorb like glucose, amino acid, vitamins and ions. Then it will travel to the Henley's loop. Here the water and here the electrolytes will be reabsorbed. And in the distal convoluted tubule, some substance will be secreted like urea, uh, uric acid and creatinine which has toxic substances secreted for excretion. Now it will connect to the collecting duct and collecting duct will connect to the urethra and from urethra it will get out of the body as excreta. Now we will look into the cells of the nephron. The head of the nephron, the proximal convoluted tubule, the Henley's loop, ascending loop of Henley and the distal convoluted tubule connecting to the collecting duct. The head of the nephron will have Bowman's capsule which will have simple squamous epithelium cells which I have not drawn here but I am focusing on the filter membrane. Here some cell structure, these cells are endothelium cells. These cells have pores between them which is also called fenestra. The next layer is the basement membrane layer. After the endothelium. And next one more specialized cell layer is present these are podocyte cells which has foot like projections 
and small slits present for filtration. These are called the podocyte cells. All three layer, the porocyte, the basement membrane and the endothelium will make the filtration membrane. The blood will get filtered. The blood cells and WBC and some proteins are not cannot cross the membrane but some smaller substances will cross the membrane through the pores, slits and these fenestra present here in the membrane. After filtration, the filter will come into the proximal convoluted tubule. Here some reabsorption occur of some substances like glucose, amino acid, etc. For reabsorption, cuboidal cells are present here with lots of microvilli. Microvilli increases the surface area for reabsorption. These are the cuboidal cells and these are the microvilli present in huge number. These cells are present throughout the proximal converted tubule. Now in the Henle's loop, the cells are simple squamous epithelial cells which will simply absorb the water and in the ascending limb the electrolytes. Both the thin segments of U shaped structure will have of the Henle's loop will have squamous epithelium cells and the thick part of the Henle's loop and the distal converted tubule will have cuboidal shape cuboidal cells with very few microvilli these are the cuboidal cells with very few microvilli. In this region, secretion of substances occur. And the collecting duct have some cuboidal cells and columnar cells. Now there are some special cells present here. The, the afferent arteriole will have some special cells on it called the juxtaglomerular cells or the granular cells. These cells will secrete renin when blood pressure is low and renin increases the blood pressure. At the junction of the thick ascending limb of Henley and the distal convoluted tubule will have some specialized cell called macula densa cells. These cells are stained dark in the staining process. And there are some special cells present in between here are called mesangial cells. These are the mesangial cells present at the junction. And these three cells, the juxtaglomerular cells, the macula densa cells, and the mesangial cells, all together called juxtaglomerulus apparatus. This region is the juxtaglomerular apparatus. And we will zoom into this and discuss more about it. This is the afferent arteriole 
on which the juxtaglomerulus cells will be present. These are the juxtaglomerular cells. This is the junction of thick ascending limb of loops of Henle and the distal convoluted tubule. At this region, macular denser cells are present. These are tall in shape and have prominent nucleus. These are macular denser cells. And the third cell of the juxtaglomerular apparatus is the mesangial cells present at this region. The macular denser cells can sense the decrease in sodium chloride in the lumen of the nephron and when sodium chloride drops when sodium chloride level drops it releases prostaglandin which will stimulate the juxtaglomerular cells to release renin it also releases renin when baroreceptors will sense the decrease in blood pressure Now, the mesangial cells have actin and myosin within it, which helps these cells to contract and clean the debris of the basement membrane to keep it clean and better filtration through it. These all of three cells, these three cells will make the just a glomerular apparatus